I'm an ally with a dick. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent helps, hundred percent. I won't. Shouts deny, to the patriarchy. I will not deny that. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I will not deny that. Is there is there been a director or or a group of people that you that you would want to work with more? It's like it's like the, like that was like Space Force. It's comedy. Is it is it like? A, Actually, here's a better question. It, it, the the back like uh, is it more funny on the set of Space Force than it, it was is, than it is on the set of Snowpiercer, or is is is, or is everybody joking? Are you always? having fun on set? I'm oh, having fun all the time. Yeah, I sit there and I eat <laughs> all day. <laughs> but like, snow, but it's it's here's the thing though. It's because like when you talk about the scenes, that's what kind of makes it funny. That's what kind of makes the environment funny. Okay. So for example, I worked with Jimmy O Yang. Oh, he's awesome. Amazing. Amazing. He's great. So when I worked with him, we had one scene. I I also know who that is. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, He's a comedian. I had that one scene with him, but like it took us forever. I swear to God, it almost, I broke every stuck, every take. Okay. Do they get kind of pissed off at you when you do that? They get it. Because you see the, you see the, you see production rock. Are they still using tape? Like, is it still tape? Yeah, they're Okay, guys. Before they they used to get mad when you used to. No, it's digital now. That's what I'm saying. They're not wasting tape. No, they're not. Like back in the day, they were like, come on, guys, we're wasting tape here. Mm. It's not that, like, they just delete it and then. They just delete it and get okay. it back to digital. Right? But That's even funny. then, so like you look at that where the scene itself is funny and you're still talking about it afterwards and you're interacting and the director's telling you, hey, why don't you do this, do this, stuff like that. King, great. It's like you're looking this way. It's funny. Yeah. But then you have, like, for example, A Million Little Things, right? And then you're on set with Romney Malco. Romney Malco is the black guy from 40 Year Old Virgin. Oh, okay. I'm telling you right now, he is... He is funny as advertised. Well, he, he can like, do stand up easy. He seems like he's just being himself in those movies. He is hilarious. Hundred percent. Like literally, like like production slowed down by at least twenty minutes every time. Really? He tells. He will get into the director trying to give us directions. He's telling the story, and you're just like, <laughs> please tell me more. He is yeah. the greatest storyteller okay. ever. That's amazing. And as soon because he's from Trinidad, right? Okay. So my family's from Trinidad. So as soon as we went back and forth, it was a wrap. It was over, and we we're just talking back and forth. Coolest guy. Like out. Like. Every set was pretty welcoming, but a million little things was probably the most fun and welcoming set I've ever been on. You made connections. Made conne- yeah. yeah, just b- f- bonding with people. But I also was there the longest. I was there for six days. Okay. okay. So that was the longest shoot I've ever done. Have you have you met anyone that like you? you have you been starstruck at all? Like, uh, have you met any? <clears throat> um, starstruck. Every like, time I look at the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Superman and Lois. Yeah, Superman Lois. Yeah. Who, who was on the set that you it could was, say was? Do you, remember, you ever seen the movie Step Up? 